Hey guys, here's a quick video on LDAP configuration on Windows Server and then configuring it on uh, Cisco ASA. And uh, let's go and get started. I'm gonna go on and log in. Here we go. We have uh, we are we are sitting on a Windows Server and uh, we have um, I already run the Server Manager, so I'm just gonna go on and add the LDAP role and let's go ahead and add it right there there's no specific configuration yet so pretty much next 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 and install this installation will take a moment i'll pause the video until it finishes there we go the installation has finished let's go and configure it i'm gonna go and run this uh, instance go on and uh, run adlds Next, 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 we're going to create a unique instance. We're going to call it whatever we want, but in my case, I'm going to call it uh, our LDAP. Okay, it pre-generated these ports. I can leave it default or I can change it. As you see, it says LDAP 5000. The default port for uh, LDAP is not uh, 5000 but it is uh, 389 so we could go on and change it make it uh, 5389 and let's go and change this to 1200 just for this is a testing uh, environment anyway so we could we could choose whatever port we want let's make it 1300 let's click next and uh, if this port is available yes it is and uh, we're gonna choose an option right here in this one we're going to choose uh, yes create uh, application directory partition and we're going to give it a name okay we're going to tap on ou we're going to choose uh, which ou it is and in that uh, ou going to be equal to our our LDAP comma and let's say PC equal external because that's what I have and then DC equal local and that should be it we're gonna click on next remember this is the the location uh, in LDAP hierarchy where the server must begin searching so that's that's where we put it so next 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 so we're gonna leave it uh, this uh, network service account and then uh, we're not going to use the administrator account but I'll use a specific account which I have for LDAPs I'm gonna say find let's go for that uh, specific group LDAP admins I just added the LDAP admin group and let's see what comes next you could choose only this uh, in this case let me choose everything we could use uh, MS user LDF but uh, that should do it but I'm gonna pick up everything for service okay next next let it finish its uh, configuration. It may take a moment. So, while it's doing that, I can pause the video. Once it's finished, I'll resume. Oops. Here we go. Let's go on and tap in the one of the admin account. Just type in the full account information. Okay. It's importing all of these. Still copying. We're still waiting. I'll pause the video for a moment. It's importing different LDIF. We're still waiting. There we go. Finish. That is it.
let's take a look okay it has been finished so let's go on and take a look at LDAP and see what's happening there we go our LDAP is running so we are all set and that's pretty much it if you want you could go to uh, ADSI edit and uh, do a little bit more setting if you want to stick around let me just go on and run this um, okay gonna go right here okay okay I'm gonna go to even though that configuration is done you could just start using it but in here let's go to ADSI edit actually there we go we have it right there let's go and play a little bit more with it let's go on and right click and connect to we could uh, name it whatever we like so in my case I'm just gonna call it thinking about a good name for it so let's call it Bakhtano just a name and then uh, let's go and say point to where we're gonna find the location to point to we're gonna choose uh, DC equal Bakhtano comma DC equal local and uh, this should do the trick yet uh, we have to specify the server as well let's say server one I'm gonna go on and put on um, dot local and let's click there we go bingo we got all the good stuff and we got this information we should be able to see the users yes there we go all the information for schema information everything is right there so we are pretty much done with this portion if uh, I, would, I think I don't want to make this video longer so let me go on and uh, make another video how do we connect this to um, uh, Cisco ASA that will be on the next video thank you for watching and hopefully you like this video